afternoon and welcome to Dialogue with Deidre. I'm your host, Deidre Malone. I am so excited to have in the studio with me today, Dr. Ricky Duggar, who is the immediate past president of the Memphis Baptist Ministerial Association, as well as um, Dr. Robert Matthews, who is the pastor of New Hope uh, Missionary Baptist Church, and also um, the director of the Mass Choir for the National Baptist Convention um, local um, concert that's going to be taking place. Um, Gathering at the River, again, musical. So welcome to Dialogue with Deidre. Glad to be here with you today, Deidre. Glad you're here. So I want to start off talking about the fact that we have four African-American denominations coming together for the midwinter meeting. Yes. You want to talk to me about that, Dr. Yeah. Douglas? Uh, yes, I, I do. And, and basically, uh, Dietro, uh, beginning January 21st, uh, we have a musical here in the city of Memphis. Uh, it'll be at the New Salem Missionary Baptist Church, uh, located at 12, I mean, located at 2237. Uh, South Parkway East, uh, where Dr. Frankie Ray is the pastor. Yes. Uh, and certainly we invite the Memphis community to come out to be a part of the celebration. At 5 p.m. that evening, uh, we have a guest artist that will be in town uh, beginning on the 21st of this month. And we invite our, our local community and people abroad to come out and be a part of this great musical with great singers and leaders across uh, this nation and especially here in the Memphis market. And then also, uh, beginning on Monday, uh, our National Baptist Convention uh, will take place here in the city of Memphis. Uh, it'll be downtown here in Memphis. Uh, we're looking forward to really a great time. We got four different individual conventions that'll be here. Uh, and, and basically, uh, the National Baptist uh, Convention USA Incorporated, uh, the National Baptist Convention America, the National Missionary Baptist Convention, mm -hmm. uh, and then also the Progressive National Baptist, uh, they will be here. And we thank God for just the fellowship that will happen here in Memphis, Tennessee. And it'll be gathering at the river again. And we're expecting maybe about 5,000 to 7,000 people to come to our great city for this midwinter board meeting. Oh, that's correct. Uh, certainly, we just look forward to it. Uh, uh, we got activities going on each day, uh, certainly uh, uh, beginning at Monday through that Thursday. Uh, just, just a great time planned. We thank God for each of the presidents, Dr. David Peoples, Dr. Anthony Shaw, Dr. Samuel Tobert, and then also Dr. Jerry Young. I have to tell you, and Dr. Matthews, I want to talk about the musical, but I have to tell you that it just warms my heart that when I started the firm, the Carter Malone Group, um, the local host committee for the National Baptist Convention USA was my first client. Great. And so it's just an honor for me to be working with you gentlemen again on this big, big convention that's coming to our city. But I want to talk about something that we do so well in Memphis when it comes to concerts. And Dr. Matthews, I yes. mean, you have led so many impressive mu musicals. You're the leader on this one. Talk to me about some of our local artists that are going to be here. Thank you, Deidre. Uh, I have been given that honor and that distinction to be the leader of this musical that's going to be on Sunday, January 21st at the New Salem Missionary Baptist Church. Everybody in Memphis knows where that is and outside of Memphis, perhaps even and the music is going to be at 5 o'clock. We've been practicing for about seven weeks now. As a matter of fact, we're going to probably have another rehearsal this evening at 7 o'clock at my church, New Baptist Church. We got people like uh, Anitra Slaughter, Joshua Bracey, Reginald Gaston. Oh, Reginald Gaston? Reginald Gaston is going to Oh, sing my for goodness. Us. I know Reginald we, real well. We don't have a musical in Memphis without <laughs> Reginald Gaston. Gaston. <laughs> Deborah, Deborah uh, Manny Thomas. She's amazing. She's a major. And then don't forget about Carolyn Wright. Yes. Carolyn is outstanding. And he's a newcomer to the list. His name is Jonathan, his name is Jonathan Cross. And a uh, young man is growing up and he's becoming real impressive in the music world. And then there's also uh, Courtney, Lit, Courtney, not Courtney, but Courtney Richardson. He's amazing he, too. He, now, he I've is. not heard him. But I've heard a lot of people talk about him, and they talk about what a great vocalist he is. He's more than amazing. I okay. Mean, I, when you get through with that, even more than amazing, <laughs> he is absolutely outstanding. And I'll never forget, I shall not forget, 
there's another young lady that's going to be in this musical too. Her name is uh, Georgia Matthews. Oh, that last name sounds familiar. <laughs> sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> <That's great. laughs> She's going to be one of the singers as well. And uh, we got um, Linda Price. The, you know Linda Price? Yes, I've uh, heard of Linda Price. Beautiful, beautiful voice. So, so we got all people from all over the city. Uh, what's it uh, uh, Renee, Janet, Jeanette. Uh, I believe her name is Mac Vay. Okay. Let me, let me, let me, uh, Jeanette, Jeanette, Jeanette. Um, uh, just one second. I got to. That's all right. Take here. your time. Got to written down here. Um, Jeanette um, Bethany. Okay. Jeanette Bethany, outstanding singer. All of these are outstanding singers. They're good and they're all right. And you're going to be really impressed with each and every one of them. So, Dr. Matthews, you also have pulled together from a number of Baptist churches across the region a mass choir. Yes. To support. How many how many people are going to participate? Well, none of these names that I call are singing solo. They are singing right, the as choir, a part of the choir. The choir is back and behind them. Yes. And uh, it's about 125 choir members. Uh, that's a large number of choir members for this day and time. Yes. Because of COVID. Now, most churches are singing with a praise team, 12, 15 at the most. But we mm -hmm. got about 125 people who are singing in a choir and they are enjoying it. I'm enjoying it too. And so we're looking forward to um, uh, January 21st. And so Memphis is known for its music. It's known, known for, right. for, you know, different types of music, but also our gospel music. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so I would encourage um, folks who can hear the sound of my voice <laughs> to move forward with getting your ticket for the January 21st uh, musical and concert. The general admission tickets are only $20. Only. Right. Now, you have an opportunity to be a VIP, though, yeah, yeah. and have VIP sitting, seating for $50. That's cool. Um, mm -hmm. But it's going to be an amazing, amazing event. And don't want to share too much until we know for sure, but there is someone that the host committee yes. is talking about bringing to Memphis. It's going to be a special guest. Mm -hmm. So I think you need to monitor all of the social media platforms. Yes. Um, so we, we don't want to announce it, do we, <laughs> Dr. Duggar, until we, until we get the contract signed. But we can say that we're in discussion with That's right. um, Zacardi. Cortez. That's correct. I was going to give the initials. Okay. <laughs> We're in discussion. All right. A strong possibility That's that right. he might be a our... Strong possibility. Strong possibility that That's he right. might be our VIP guest, yeah. right? Yes. So excited about that. Mm -hmm. So, gentlemen, as Baptist pastors, you've been to a number of these midwinter meetings. Is it, is, it, is it a lot of fun, a lot of preaching, a lot of... What, what do you get from it? It's going to be awesome. Uh, I think that's the correct word to use, uh, <laughs> and especially in coming to Memphis, it's just something special about Memphis, Tennessee, uh, and uh, and there's an old saying that the uh, Memphis Grizzly um, announced was there, no place but Memphis. <laughs> uh, so certainly we invite everyone to come out, and you'll be richly blessed. Uh, the doors will open at 4 p.m. for the musical, mm -hmm. uh, so we invite each and every one of you to come out, be a part of our musical, and certainly... Uh, Dr. Matthews and uh, choirs that have been rehearsing and, and uh, oh, what a time we have. I believe, I believe. I mean, I've attended the musicals and it's been, we had one when we first, when I first got involved, it was at the Pyramid. Right. Do you remember that one I at the Pyramid? That, yes. that was when we gathered at the river the first yes, time. Yes, yes. And it was amazing. Thank great you. attendance, great singers. Mm -hmm. And so we're looking forward to doing the exact same. Now, it's too late to be a part of the choir. It is too late to be a part of the choir. We've been working seven weeks. Tonight it's going to be rehearsal number eight. And then the only other rehearsal we're going to have is um, next Wednesday. And it's going to be at uh, our dress rehearsal. It's going to be at New Salem. And so the people who have been coming and working real hard, I think they'd be looking at me real funny if I bring somebody <laughs> they into would. an idea, <laughs> and rightly so, but right. uh, they've been working real hard. We already got most of the music learned, okay. and so it's just a little late to come in and be part of the choir. May I say this also? Yes. If I'm not mistaken, 
I believe that this in Memphis is the first time we've had a musical during this winter board meeting. I think so. I yes. think because the mm -hmm. last time it was the convention. Yes, yeah, the convention and the Congress. We're That's right. We are absolutely. You're right, Dr. And this Matthews. is the winter board meeting. And of course, well, if we come to Memphis, what do you expect? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say, and Dr. G Duggar, you can speak to this too. I mean, you've been leading because you're chairing this process for the local host committee. Um, the pastors have come together to work closely with you yes. on making sure that when the four Baptist denominations come to our great city, that they have a good time. That's correct. We, we're excited about it. Uh, certainly, we, we're just looking forward to a great fellowship that week, uh, certainly beginning January 21st at 5 p.m., but all through the week. we got great speakers that will be speaking each night. Each of our presidents will be sharing, plus they have just some others that have been invited to speak. So. Well, I just want to say thank you, too, um, because we've been working to try and make sure that we have some sponsors for for this event that's coming sure. to town and make sure that they sponsor what we're trying to do as a local host committee. So special thank you to Comcast. Special thank you to, um, to A1 um, Printing. Special thank you to R.S. Lewis Funeral Home for supporting us. Special thank you to Mayor Lee Harris and the Shelby County government so it's for supporting what good, we're trying to do with the awesome. local host committee, right? right. right All right, so um, we've got a little more time so we can just talk about what that schedule is going to look like. I'm looking at the schedule and I know that Monday, January the 22nd is when most of the delegates are going to come in, right? Correct. And as a part of that, I know that there is going to be a state president's meeting but the big meeting for those that are coming in will be the seven o'clock mm -hmm. service, great. right? And we're gonna there's gonna be a welcome, yes. um, welcome part of that, and the local host committee is gonna be a part of that. And I think I think there's gonna be some singing going on as a the part of the welcome. The big meeting is the musical. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, that's that Sunday. That's that Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. You're right. That that's, is the that's big, the big meeting. That is yeah. the big meeting. Yeah. The second big meeting, yeah. then. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> we'll let that be the first. Okay. Is, is the welcome. <laughs> right. Because yeah. the local host committee yes. is working that's with Dr. Correct. Young on that, right? That's correct. Yeah, what it consists of, and especially the presidents, uh, first of all, will be meeting along with uh, different uh, delegates from across the country. They'll be here at 5 p.m. at the uh, National Civil Rights Museum. Mm -hmm. uh, that will take place at 5 p.m. as we commemorate uh, certainly the life and uh, legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King right. Jr. That will be at 5 p.m. But at 7 p.m., certainly we're looking forward to Memphis coming out in a special way. Uh -huh. And many of our pastors that are part of the Memphis Baptist Ministerial Association, they'll be in attendance, uh, certainly uh, their families uh, that particular night. Uh, national president will be our keynote speaker. He'll be sharing that night uh, on that Monday evening. And then the Memphis Baptist Ministry Association yeah. male chorus will be singing. I think uh, Pastor Matthews, that's who she's speaking of. <laughs> that's right. That's what I'm talking about on that Monday night. <laughs> They'll be singing Monday night. Okay. Uh, and they will actually, they will actually speak. I mean, sing before Dr. Young preach. Okay. Uh, so, and we're looking forward to that. In fact. They're excited about coming. Uh, uh, the Memphis Baptist Ministry Association, they meet every Tuesday uh, from 11 a.m. to about 1.15. Uh -huh. uh, and their pastors all over Shelby County, Tennessee. They come out and, uh, and we average, on the average Tuesday, maybe 200 pastors okay. and ministers. Uh, you don't have to be a member to attend. You can be of other faiths as well. But they are there. Uh, we normally have a sermon by midday. Uh -huh. But we have uh, community leaders to come out uh, each Tuesday, some especially during the political season, right? We get, oh, we you get, get everybody. Uh, in. Yes, indeed. Uh -huh. <laughs> but however, one of the things is that uh, we are there, we try to meet the needs of the community. And I think that that's very important. And a lot of times people don't understand that it's more to pastoring than preaching uh, and, you know, for ministers, but then we do other things in the community. That's right. uh -huh. We feed the homeless. We, we clothe the naked. We, we do a number of things that people don't know. We help people that are, that are just... Uh, uh, desolate that need help. Uh -huh. So we meet every Tuesday. They are going to be singing. That that comprises of a male chorus of forty to fifty men. Oh, uh -huh. they'll be okay. singing at night. And uh, certainly the uh, the 
uh, Memphis host committee, we want to thank all those that are working with us. We want to make that meeting this that particular week, the 21st through the 25th, uh, certainly a good week for Memphis. We want Memphis to look good, and certainly not only they'll be singing, both of our mayors are scheduled to be there. That's right. Uh -huh. The city mayor, along with our county mayor, city mayor, certainly uh, our, our brother Lee Harris, and then our new president, new, new mayor elect. Uh, our, our brother Young, amen, Paul right. Young. So we're right. excited about that as well. And then we'll have uh, some other things to take place that night as well. well. So we invite you to come out 7 p.m. January the 22nd, that Monday night as well, uh -huh, behind the musical on uh, that Sunday night. So we want you out Sunday and Monday night. And then we'll be there uh, uh, two more nights. We'll be there as well Tuesday and Wednesday nights. Uh, uh, some of our presidents will be sharing and their conventions will be represented as well. Well, I also failed to mention that the delegates that come to the midwinter board meeting um, can ride the trolley for free as long wow. as they show their badges. That's, That's something we worked out with mm -hmm. Mata, and we want to thank them for for that because you know they could make a dollar every That's time awesome. somebody. So yeah. I think it's incredible that they yeah. are willing to do that to support awesome. our delegates yeah. that are coming in to our city. So thank That's you great. so much, Mata, for doing that. Um, but yeah, so Dr. Matthews did check me. The most important <laughs> <laughs> musical is the one that is going to be on Sunday night. But uh -huh. just so proud of the fact that um, our local pastors who are part of the Baptist Ministerial Association, they're going to sing on Monday night. Yes, that's so um, how does it feel, Dr. Duggar? I mean, I know you just gave over the reins <laughs> of the presidency. To Dr. Carl Shields, how does it feel to to be relieved of that, those duties of leading? Tell the truth. <laughs> Tell, well, leading the organization. There may be someone watching this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, certainly, uh, it's still new to me. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, two years have passed by, but I've enjoyed it. Uh, mm -hmm. I really have. I've been truly blessed. And let me say this: I want to thank. Oh God, all the pastors and ministers across the Shelby County, Tennessee, uh, Tipton County, DeSoto County, and other parts of the Mid-South, they have been a blessing to Dr. Ricky L. Duggar Sr. And I, and I tried to lead with, uh, with integrity. integrity. I it's think that's, the yeah, yes. that really it's helped. I, and I appreciate, yeah, yeah, and I appreciate the guy and Dr. Matthews and all of them. They have been, they have been there. They have been uh, just pushing us on. And for that, I say thank you to to all the pastors. We're excited about. Uh, what we're doing now, and uh, certainly is to uh, left that and, and we left it in good hands. Dr. Carl mm -hmm. Shields is going to do an excellent job, and mm -hmm. he has our support. And, and a lot of people may not know this is that uh, most of the former presidents are still a part oh, that's of, wonderful. The, of the Memphis Baptist Ministerial Association, and that's what has kept us thriving over the many years. Uh, we have six or seven that are former presidents, and we serve a two year term. And, uh, and, and as Dr. Frankie Ray once said, he said, you know, uh, believe it or not, after our term has expired, we're there pushing the next guy on. That's and and that's, that's how I want to be found, uh, uh, supporting Dr. Carl Shields and his efforts. And we're looking forward to greater things, you know. Really oh, I, I believe. Mm -hmm. Let me mm -hmm. just tell you my um, Dr. Frank Ray story. I was visiting a church in West Memphis, Arkansas, um, Reverend Morgan's church. Mm -hmm. It was his anniversary. And Dr. Ray was preaching. Mm -hmm. And so Belinda Anderson and I went right, on. Right. And he didn't, I said, Belinda, does he have a Bible? <laughs> 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 and Belinda said, I will see a Bible. <laughs> I was amazed. Yeah, that's it, that's he it. just, off the top of that's his it. head, he just, and it was beautiful. The sermon was beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, Dr. Matthews, yes. this musical. On that Sunday night, <laughs> what are some of the songs that we can expect to hear? Oh, you can expect to hear a plethora of music. <laughs> uh, uh, God is keeping me. I think that's by mm -hmm. the Mississippi Mass, and it's all over everybody's radio station. Yes. You can expect to hear a song entitled "Victory Is the Lord's." Let me say this: uh, you can certainly expect to hear Carolyn Wright singing uh, that song. She sings uh, "For Every Mountain." Mm. For every mountain. Now that's a big song. That's a big song. <laughs> and I didn't call her name earlier, but I believe Carol Strong Thompson. Mm. Uh, she's really she's Ronnie Strong's the city knows Ronnie. She's she's Ronnie's 
big sister. So Ronnie and, Strong out of Atlanta. No, no, no. this is Carol Strong oh. Thompson. She's the one that taught Ronnie how to do what he oh, does. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I always say that. Um, she's going to be singing the old song by Vanessa Bell Armstrong, Nobody But Jesus. Oh, my. Yeah, Nobody But Jesus. She's awesome. Yeah. So uh, I can go on further. Um, Make Room, Jonathan, Jonathan, um, McReynolds. Yes. He's a newcomer, young man on, uh, out of California, but uh, Julian Cross is going to sing that, and we're going to also, listen, we're going to sing a song that an older guy um, named, uh, his name are uh, Robert James Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I um, kind of, I didn't compose the song, I rearranged it, and we did it once before. We did it once before, and it's still very, very strong. Uh, make a joy for noise. Oh, beautiful. Make a joy for noise. Just the words from the make a joy for noise unto the Lord all the land. Don't you dare come in here not making a joy for noise. Yeah. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Just let's remind people, Dr. Duggar, when the musical's going to be and what the ticket prices are and how they can get tickets. Okay. Yes, Dietro, it's Sunday, January 21st. 2024, 5 p.m. at the New Salem Missionary Baptist Church at 2237 South Parkway East, uh, right there in the heart of Memphis. Uh, we certainly invite you to come out, be a part of it. Tickets are $20, uh, that's general admission. We have $50 VIP uh, uh, seats available, and we just want Memphis to come out, be a part of this uh, uh, venue. You will be richly blessed, and certainly with all the rehearsals and all of the energies that have been Exalted. I want to thank again Dr. Matthews, Robert Matthews, and, and for allowing us to use his church to rehearse and, and all, and Dr. Frankie Ray for opening his doors on the 21st. And Memphis, Cassandra Memphis, Buchanan. Memphis, come out and, and be a part of this. Uh, and we want to be a blessing to not only to Memphis, but across this nation. We got people that will be coming in town that day. Yes. Uh, they'll be coming by Salem, and certainly uh, uh, Zachary Cortez. Uh, yeah, we're prayerfully, we we're working through that process, and right. we're looking forward to him coming. Wow, uh, wow. You, yeah. you, you'll be blessed. And some of his songs, I mean, I, you know, he's he's new to me, but I'm told uh -huh. that the young people <laughs> love him. Love him. Yeah. Um, Lord, do it for me. You don't know. Um, and I guess you these were live in Memphis. I guess he recorded these in Memphis. Yes. Oh, how I love you. Um, you've been good to me, and I believe so. These were recorded in Memphis, so I mean, like I said, Memphis is a hub for music yes, and right. gospel music as well. And so, you know, we want to support our local artists, and we want to support the National Baptist Convention. And I think we—it's important for us to support our local churches and our local pastors. We're putting all of this together, so. Um, we look forward to seeing you. I know I will be there in a VIP seat. <laughs> okay, so look forward to seeing you. And if you don't have your tickets, it's not too late to get your tickets to Gathering at the River again, the musical concert on Sunday, um, January the 21st at 5 o'clock at New Salem. General admission tickets are $20. VIP tickets are $50. You can... Um, get them we have some local tickets and then you can also go to eventbrite and get your tickets so um, we look forward to seeing you that night any final thoughts dr duck well yeah basically uh aditra as we look forward to the next uh, two weeks uh, we're excited uh, we pray that our city will get on board with it and certainly uh, uh I, I just believe you know I, this, this is reverend ricky i Senior saying you saying this is that we want to have a great fellowship on um, sunday uh, um, January 21st at 5 p.m. at the New Salem Missionary Baptist Church and, and then Monday through Thursday. Uh, Memphis, uh, for those of you that can come out, we got exhibits that will be set up uh, for you to buy items as well mm -hmm. in the Renaissance uh, Cook Convention Center. Mm -hmm. So we invite you to come out and shop to your drop. I think that's a word. Yeah, I love it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So certainly we invite you to do that as well. The convention will be uh, open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. each day. So 
So we thank you so much for allowing us to, to just be here with you today. And I forgot one other sponsor, Renaissance Bank. Yes. Thank okay. you for sponsoring, yes. um, working with our local host committee. Dr. Matthews, any final words? I'm just in agreement with Pastor Doug up. I'm excited about it. I'm glad to be part of it. I got friends that are coming from Little Rock, Arkansas, just to come to the musical. Oh, I'm gonna try God. to keep them a couple of days at the convention, <laughs> but they're driving from Little Rock, Arkansas to be part of the musical. Can't wait to see you. Thank you so much for watching Dialogue with Deidre. We'll see you next week.